Hi, I'm Jeff Misha. I'm Brad Spence. And today we're making fried chicken with mashed potato and cheese curd and maple agro dolce. We start with a nice milk brine. And what I mean by brine, when you brine something, you're putting something in a salted liquid, whether it be water, milk, or, or chicken stock, or, or, or any, any type of seasoned liquid. So we're gonna, we're gonna actually use milk. We like to, when we marinate meat, sometimes we like to put it in milk. It kind of helps break down the proteins a little bit. So we're gonna add some milk into here. So we're gonna smash some garlic cloves. Throw that in there. And you don't have to worry about chopping, chopping it up because you, you wanna marinate this, this chicken for about, for about uh, eight to 10 hours. You're gonna break up some rosemary. Couple pieces of thyme, and then don't forget the salt. All right, so we're gonna mix this up. Let that let that sit, and then we're gonna break break the chicken down. We're gonna start by cutting cutting the wing tips off. Okay, so we're gonna cut the thigh the thigh and the drumstick off. Basically, you want to make a nice incision. It's it's almost does it's almost formed naturally. Naturally. Again, you're gonna to want to pop that open, and then they call this meat that's in here. They call it the oyster meat. You just want to kind of get that out with your knife. It's the best part of the chicken. All right. Now this now this is kind of a tricky part where you want to get the backbone out. Start here at the top, and just let your knife run down just like that. And this kind of just falls right off. Now we're going to take the chicken wings off. And all we're going to do is just make a little circle around. Pop that out. We're just going to cut this right down the middle. All right. Now you got two breasts. And you want to cut this in half. Just cut right through the bone. And a nice French knife works. We're going to add the chicken in here. The last piece of, piece of chicken we're going to break down are the thighs and the drumstick. If you rub your finger right here, you can feel there's a, the bone that separates the drumstick from the thigh. And you can feel it right there. So all you got to do is take your knife and cut down and cut right through it. So the idea is every piece of chicken is relatively the same size. I mean, some are going to cook longer than others because some you got white meat and some you have dark meat. Dark meat's going to take a little longer. But in theory, everything is about the same size. Okay, so now we're gonna make the glaze that after we're done frying the chicken, we're gonna drizzle over top of it. So we have some maple syrup. It's basically equal parts maple syrup and vinegar. So it's just sweet and sour in the Italian kitchen, they're called agrodolce. And then here we're gonna add a little heat with some, with some chili flake. And we're gonna just re slowly reduce that down until it's nice and syrupy. And now we're gonna work on our potato puree. We're taking the potatoes whole with the skin on and boiling so they don't get waterlogged. All right, so we're gonna take these out. These are done cooking. And then we're just gonna peel these and run them through the ricer. You know, there's all different ways to mash potatoes. We're gonna use a ricer. This is a potato, this is a food mill. You put the potatoes in, you wind it through, and the potatoes are, are smashed through this little, this little, uh, what do you call that? Little holes. You know? <laughs> little holes, there's, I'm looking for a word for that. Let me get this out of your way. And then you're gonna take a paring knife, hold it like that, and kind of cut into the potato, grab it with your thumb, and kind of peel down. And then you're just gonna peel the, the skin away. So you kind of want to get it in there and get it through and not mess with it too much. The more you mix the potatoes, the more gummy they're gonna get. You wanna get that cream in there? I'm gonna add just a little bit of it right now. Yeah. All right. You wanna work quickly because you don't want these potatoes to cool down. If they cool down, they're also gonna get gummy. So we'll go with the back of the pear knife, kind of mash them up a little bit, just to get it going. Kind of break them up. Again, use the back so you're not destroying your blade. Right. Oh yeah, we're going to put the butter in with the potatoes while we rice them. That should be good, huh? Yeah. Kind of mash them up by hand, old school. <laughs> <laughs> dump, dump it over. And you dump it in here like that. A little bit more rustico. All right. Perfect. 
That's what I do at home anyway. We want to season a little bit. Okay, so we got some salt and pepper in there now. We're going to add a little bit of garlic that's been roasted. You take a, clove, a whole clove of garlic, you put a little oil in there, a little salt, wrap it in foil, put it in a 350 degree oven for like a half hour, you pull it out, and then you squeeze it out and you have roasted garlic. Put a little of that in there. That's a little. It's a little bit, dude. It's garlic, man. Jersey style. <laughs> so you can kind of set these potatoes aside, get them on the get them on the back burner. You know, keep them just keep them in a warm area, take the heat off them. Um, and then when we get ready, we'll show you how to put the uh, mozzarella curd. In the meantime, we're gonna go back to the fried chicken. So now this is a, this is the chicken that we had brining for about eight to ten hours. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna fry the dark meat for eight minutes and then the white meat for for six minutes and we're going to do a double fry on it because so I'm just right now just coating it in a little bit of flour it's going to give it that nice crust you know you really want to make sure you coat the chicken well with the flour so, oh you want to check the temperature on that you want to make sure the oil is about 350 just like frying anything else you want this to be at the proper temperature because if, it, if it's not hot enough you're going to go in and it's going to be soggy fried chicken we're looking good dude yeah? Yeah, we're looking good. Okay, so we're gonna start dropping all the dark meat in here first. And again, we're doing a double fry. So we're gonna fry the, 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 the dark meat for, for eight minutes and the white meat for six. Then we're gonna take it out, let the chicken rest for a few minutes, and then throw it back in for another three minutes. Give me a heads up when I hit two minutes. You got the tongs real quick, Brad. You wanna move this around. The temperature, when you put it in, obviously, you know, this isn't a huge fryer, so, you're gonna put a bunch of chicken in there and the temperature's gonna go to drop way down. This was at 350 and now it's probably at, you know, 300, maybe even 275 because we put yeah. this ice cold chicken in there. So you wanna monitor the heat. You know, you kinda of wanna work with it a little bit. Continue to take the temperature and try to level it out to where you want it to be, which is 350. What's that at? It's a little bit over 350, but right. once we stick the breast meat in there, we're gonna yeah. be good. After the two minute mark, you want to throw all the white meat in there so you can get that going for another six minutes. And this is where you want to get back in there and take the temperature. You really, if it, if it drops too low, you're going to have soggy fried chicken. So this is at like 300, right? So we want to crank up the heat a little, a little bit. bit. But this is something great you could do for a party because you can, you can fry all this chicken up ahead of time. You know, do the eight minutes for the dark, six minutes for the, for the white, set it aside. Everybody comes over, you're all hanging out. And then right before you sit down for dinner, you throw the chicken back in for three more minutes, and it's on a plate, and you're ready to eat. All right, it's been about eight to ten minutes. We're gonna we're gonna start taking some of the leg meat out. It's starting to get done. The breast meat isn't quite done yet. So while we're pulling that the all the chicken out, we're gonna finish our potatoes. When these potatoes are nice and hot, we're gonna add our curd in. Cheese curd is basically you would take this and essentially salt it and make all your different kinds of cheeses. It all starts from this right here. You can find this at a, at a gourmet grocery store. If you can't get cheese curd, you can use a little bit of mozzarella. Mozzarella will melt in there or any kind of soft cheese that'll melt inside. So normally you wouldn't want potatoes to look like this. If they look like this, you've overmixed them. But since that, you know, that's obviously curd. So nice and stretchy like that, that's what you're looking for. The curd is not seasoned. There's no, there's very little salt in the curd. So you're going to add some salt to it. Mix that in, and that's ready to rock. So it's been about five, to, it's been about five, ten minutes. We're gonna throw the chicken back in. Be careful when you're putting it in, not to just throw it in. You don't wanna, you don't wanna burn you or anybody else standing yeah, around you. All right. All right. So the fried chicken's done. All right. So you want to season that a little bit with uh, yeah. some salt. Even though it's brine, now you got this coating on it. You still want to season it with a little bit of a little bit of salt. Because we have a little bit of a uh, a little bit of sorry, a little bit of rosemary or a little bit of thyme in the in the uh, brine. We're just going to pop this in there, fry a little bit up of that, fry it up, put that on top, and when that comes to the table, the aroma of that. That fried herb is really nice. Right. Look at that. Now we're going to put the chicken all over. Mix it up. You Sweet. got the sauce, Chef? Whip up that extra garlic. Nah, dude, you want the garlic <laughs> in there, dude. Drizzle. That's the maple agriculture, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So sweet, sour, spicy. It's going to cut through the richness of all that stuff going on there, all that lovely butter and cheese. It's like and Italian Gen General Sal's chicken, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, to make it really fancy, we're going to put that on there like that. And this is our version of fried chicken with mashed potato and cheese curd and maple agri dolce. Thanks for watching Dude Food and tune into the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Suffering from nearsightedness, baldness, or impotence? Why Would You Eat That has your snake wine cure. Tune into Star Chef Secrets to see how Foundry Super Chef Eric Greenspan makes his award winning grilled cheese. Do you like food? Do you like blowing stuff up? Do you like food and blowing stuff up? Tune in to Taste Explosions to see what we're blowing up next. Did you know Flaming Hot Cheetos turn your poop red? Learn more major breaking food news each week on Food Feeder. How about some armpit fruit salad? It's got a porcupine shell and smells like turpentine, rotten onions, and gym socks. Yum. On Amazing Food Tricks with Jill, learn how a simple slice of bread can be used to clean up broken glass.